You watched Beyond Belief, my boy. You done out here, nigga. You just dropped the most two mid songs. Yo, your shit is abysmal. I know they want to give me credit, but I just think you lost in the sauce. Nigga, you dropping the same song that sound like the same song after the same song for the last two and a half years. Boy, look at your comment section. It ain't me and you. We don't got no issues, but this is where y'all started from. You see, y'all boys lost the very essence of why the culture loves y'all. Y'all started chasing the money instead of chasing exactly what the people empowered you to do. Y'all niggas became mannequins, walking mannequins. Y'all want to be in Paris and France hugging with James Harden. Just like he ain't doing nothing in the basketball court, y'all not doing nothing in the booth. Let's be honest about it. So now, y'all looking like a shell of the people y'all used to be. The people you used to influence don't connect with you no more. They're looking for other people. They're looking for other influence. They're looking for people who they identify with more. Now, there was a time I would just say, well, you know, these guys are aging, but it's not even that. Your little baby's directly in the game. He's lost it. The creativity seems to be like trumped by all this other bullshit he got going on. And I don't know who the yes man in the studio with him that keep telling him to put out these trash ass music. Did y'all hear the last two songs he put out? He can't. The nigga don't got confident in one song no more. He keep putting out two and three songs at a time, hoping you'll catch one of them and not one of them is hidden. When are we going to really talk about this? What was his last two songs? One with Frank. Three, th one's one. called 365 or 360, and then another song. He just dropped a two pack just now. They're mid. Let me get off of this because, I, you know, I, I ain't really going on Meek, really, but it's it just, it's really the Michael Rubin thing. I think people keep saying, act is a curse of niggas getting, getting mad at you. I think it's a Michael Rubin curse. Little baby can't find a hit. Go look, go look on Spotify. Go look on Spotify. Go to little baby. Matter of fact, fuck all that. Just go to his fucking comment section and see what's going on. Because sometimes, you know what I mean? I know he might struggle with reading, but I could read a lot. I could read a lot. The The fall off must be studied. I hate to say because you used to be one of the hottest. I didn't filter these comments. These are what's in this. You could read. I could read. What's the disconnect? These niggas want to be models. These niggas want to be in Paris. They don't want to be no more. The guys who influence the culture, they made enough money and I get it. By the way, these guys are hundreds of millions of dollars up. But when we talk about them in music and we say don't hit the, the same no more, I hope they don't get offended as you're just speaking the truth. You could so smoke your Cuban cigar and walk around with your little double cup. Of, like, really, that's, that look like it's a coffee cup, but it's okay. But it don't hit the same no more. You drop two songs. Good morning, happy Friday. Drop two new songs. Listen to what the people are saying. I didn't filter these comments. I hate to say it because you used to be one of the hottest round. That's the thing that when I was talking about baby, niggas thought I was hating. I'm sorry. I'm an avid music fan. I like to hold my great artists to great expectations. I don't hold them to mediocre expectations. So when I said about it's only me and I said, ah, it's only me was it's only mid. People said I was hating. All right. Well, prove me wrong. This thing has been acting like he's been stuck in a studio like it was a hyperbolic time chamber for the last two years. And all he's coming up with is a replica of the last five songs he's coming out with. When you listen to the little baby. For the first 15 seconds, you're going to think, oh, this this sounds like, and you're going to name a song. I cut this shit on on, 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 on Spotify. I said, oh, this shit sounds like another try to try to create all in. I get it. Now, here's the thing, and this is why we got to keep it truthful. By the way, Lil Baby's rich. He ain't going to ever be broke. Our opinion don't matter to his pockets. These guys aren't in it for the art. They're in it for the pockets. Okay? So don't think that because I'm saying this means I'm killing this. It doesn't matter. My opinion doesn't matter. But my opinion does matter when it comes to the truth about what the music is going. Lil Baby, we thought, was the guy. He's not. Let's get him out of here. There was a time I, I thought so. I was saying if there was an incumbent to Drake, it was going to be him. I heard him on wants and knees. I heard the bars. I heard it. I said the skill is there. The talent's there. The work ethic's there. He's going to be the guy. I'm glad to say today I was fucking wrong. He could rap, but he don't got too much creativity in that body. He keep making the same song, just with different lyrics and a different little tune. I could blame the beats, but he's gotten beats from everybody at this point. So what are we going to say? We've never seen something like this. 
How do you create, a, 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 like, really, I think it's a generational album, my turn, especially after the deluxe drop. How do you do that and literally have been batting 0% for the last two, three years? How do we do that? How is there no inspiration for the music you're making? How is that you came, you went from being the number one contender to now people are saying that the, the person who used to be your Scotty Pippen is the new Jordan? We talk about Gunner. How does this happen? Somebody tell me I'm wrong because, listen, I'm not reading shit that's made up. I'll refresh the page if you think I'm lying. I'm refreshing the page. This is his last picture where he announces two songs three days ago or two days ago. Just look. I hate to say it because you used to be one of the hottest rounds, but nigga, you falling off faster than Jordan Poole, nigga. Switch the flow. His fall <laughs> falling off faster than Jordan Poole? <laughs> Little baby really fall off must be studied. D money 006. I might be tripping, but them ain't it. Nigga, Gunna. just throw gun into the mix. Follow you got yeah. a, you got one of your female followers here that said, nah, they ain't gonna never let me hate you. Somebody says it's about time they starve it. Somebody said, man, who mixed it? Who mastered it? Put it like this. Y'all all all y'all rappers want Kai. Y'all all on Kai's dick because y'all need Kai's approval to make y'all feel like y'all made some shit. But even Kai Sinet. Costing that, uh, um, little baby. I, I need to get his reaction to little baby's. Uh, so DJ academics. Even Kai. Kai just fuck with you because you came to his bedroom and, and dealt with all the shenanigans he was doing. He really wanted to say it was whack. You know what he, he did? He just blames your engineers. Fuck the engineers, nigga. You just dropped some mid ass songs. Where is it at? Is it this? No, I, I think it's you. I think you posted on your main account. Nah, I ain't, I posted on main. I ain't posted on main. I ain't posted on oh, main. God. I would have posted on the main, but uh, you know, I don't want people to, like I, I genuinely wanted to hear what people had to say first. Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm gonna find her right now. Just, yeah. I'm gonna find her right now. And by the way, you know, I'm not blaming all this on like like on some like Michael Rubin shit, but but th there is a thing here that we gotta analyze and we gotta study. What is happening to these artists that, you know, the reason why I'm giving Nicki Minaj credit even recently, I gotta give Nicki Minaj credit. I gotta give Nicki Minaj credit uh because give me one second, right here. Oh, I see it. I gotta give Nicki Minaj credit. You know, I gotta give her credit. Because she's showing us what it means to sell music, not gimmicks. She's telling us where, hey, well, let's focus on the music and let's judge accordingly. And you know why I'm so hard pause against Lil Baby is because he's talented. He's one of the guys. Don't make it. I don't care what me and his issues are. He's one of the guys. If you don't, let me tell you this. We don't get that, that fucking deluxe by Drake, that scary hours, whatever, without us Telling Drake, we, we ain't feeling that shit, gang. Y'all keep calling these niggas acting like whatever they dropped is hot, like it's just hot fire. They'll never, ever give you nothing better. You got to start telling these artists they're dropping trash. Little baby, what happened to you? Everybody loves you still, but we riding around listening to your old hits because you new hits try to sound like your old hits. What happened to you, brother? What is the deal? Don't tell me you had a writer because ever since Thug got locked up, you ain't making no hits by yourself. What's happening to you, dog? Ever since you and Gunner don't collaborate, we can't see it. What's happening to you, brother? This is the fall off of seismic proportions. We've never seen this before. What's happening, brother? Look. Even Kai, he's trying to understand it. He can't comprehend it. What's going on? I'm not even joking. The beat's about louder than him. Kai trying to say everything other than this nigga baby sucks. What happened to you, brother? What happened? And y'all can say, hey, Ak, you hate whatever. Yo, I bumped the niggas that 